Yes, ma'am. Fluff it. Fluff it some more. Add headband to it. Hair in a bun often indicate you have had a hectic day. But you know you are low-key slaying. Yes, let me get right into it. The wig cap I'm using is the mesh. I'm using a small size cap on this uh, with the 16 inch kinking straight hair. So I'm using a like a marker kind of chalk kind of thing to do my marking. So I did that solid line, broken line in the front that indicate where my front is going to be. So I lined up for the sake of this video, just that five line I'm going to line up reasonably space out because i want to keep this unit to be really low density i don't i don't want it to be heavy um so once i've done that five or four or five line at the back so i'm gonna kind of mimic what i've done at the back meeting round the front all the way to the back and um when i was done doing this marking there was that five line at the back and about seven line in the front give or take this marking is just an indication you can do yours if you're watching this you hoping to make something similar you can tweak uh, based on how thick you want your unit to be but for today i really want to keep this unit to be very low so the, the difference between what i'm making today and any other with hairband wig or any other wig of any kind is the fact that you're using a cap that is going to be your size ideally so this is small since i won the award of the peanut head of the year i'm using a small cap size so as you've seen my marking all done so i kind of mimic what i've done in the back to kind of round it over so now moving on to my magic weft <laughs> uh, i'm just gonna just like i'm doing measure that hair around all over the wig until i reach where i first started uh, that is going to give me the measurement that i need for that one weft that i usually sew on inside of the wig so i left like an inch um just for error it's best to have a bit more hair left over than to sew in and not having enough so i left a little bit of hair out to just help me get through there so fold that in half then i'm going to cut this once i cut this in half now that is going to be the hair i'm going to need for the entire inside of the wig because i'm going to take this apart so being that this is the length i need because i've cut it in half now this is the, the length i need once i unravel this that will give me the measurement so here is my magic work that i'm telling you about as you can see just a preview what it does to the inside of the wig it's giving my hair the illusion of having more hair out without actually having a lot of hair out so once i unravel that weft this is the measurement more or less that i end up with and if i go around did do what exactly what i've did before it's exactly what i need and that little bit inch that i left was still there and um, so there you go so i'm going to sew this inside the wig not outside so i've turned the cap inside out right now that is how i'm going to sew it on once i once i get onto the sewing machine something i'm not gonna do though i won't be sewing this weft on the band part of this cap so i just want to sew on the actual cap himself but not the band bear with me i've got a good reason for this so like i was saying before you can use the size if you use the size that's exactly your hair size this is what gonna make this different from any other uh, half wig uh, headband wig and any other in between wigs of you know similar uh wig so i'm once i've sold that one track all around it i'm gonna go in now and remove that a band the elastic inside the wig if you were making a full wig this is what will make it snug but i don't need this today so i've taken that band off and i've just end up with just this cap for the starters was a small cap right so now that i've taken that band off which is a good two inch there 
the, this cap is even smaller so it's very important that you use a cap that is suitable for your hair uh, size because that's gonna make this that's gonna make this different from your off the rag half wig or what have you so that first five worth that i first um lined up at the beginning of this video i'm going to sew the weft on the cap going down it get kind of tricky if you can get this last few bit right you have yourself a wig that you absolutely gonna enjoy lightweight i made this in under 30 minutes really quick so as you've seen i've sewn that kind of broken halfway through all that five weft going down so um the rest of what is left as you see in the wig is starting to take shape so starting from that first line at the back i will be sewing going back now so although the the line marking i've done looks like it's just going round round but i'm gonna sew going back this is a good uh, video to show for the, this very clip right here you can see I started from that last weft, from that five weft that I saw going back, right? So I'm going to kind of bend it, sewing this round it, because this wig is creating with ponytails, low ponytails, high buns, uh, going straight back, and adding hairband to it once my new grow become, you know, crazy. So this is... This wig is created with those things in mind. And as um, as far as my edges is concerned, I really want to lay off my edges because my relaxer top chop kind of fall in the time where we had rain no stop. So I've not able to enjoy my hair out. So I figure a style like this could still allow me to keep my hair away, but still give my edges a break that I usually, you know, give my hair, my edges a rest that first two months after touch up i have not able to do that but this wig is allowing me or is going to allow me to do that so as you can see the wig is taking shape a little bit better than when i first started so i'm sewing that weft right round the cap keep on watching as you've seen it's definitely you know it's not have a purpose right this wig now look like there is a purpose to it so i left that inside out again because i want to keep this within one bundle or a bundle a little bit so i left that inside out that's why there's no marking if you were wondering why i did not sew or mark anywhere in there that is the reason why so now what i'm gonna do moving on from here is more or less using where i've stopped at the back to be my guide as opposed to actually following the marking that i've done so i'm gonna start from wherever that weft as you can see me pointing going all the way around until i end on the other side of the web the weft so i'm using the weft that i stopped with before as a guide now as opposed to that marking marking is still useful but not as much so keep on watching <laughs> So it's all completed that took me 45 minutes to, to, to create this wig i mean how awesome because i was able to keep the density low and there's nothing inside uh, yet i still left that inside out like there's no weft in there yet so it's it look around about what i want it to be um density wise because i figured the lower the density the easier it is to attach the hair so that magic weft is they're staring at me in the face so i'm just going to brush her back i uh, will be adding a little bit of mousse to it and then i'm going to tie it down so it can stay flat without me even doing any much already trying this on or nothing like that you can already see where this is going right <laughs> stick with me <laughs> So my hair is washed, deep condition, moisturized, seals, you know, the whole full house. So I, this is the hair I'm leaving out for now. 
I might leave a little bit more hair out or decide to leave less hair out. One big plait at the back, that's around about it. So I add in a wig cap just to keep everything down. A little bit of wig, um, just a wig grip. That was all I needed. No, I did not use any other bobby pin. Although I might have to resort to bobby pin as time goes. Uh, when the wig become a little bit slack, I might need to add a little bit of uh, bobby pin to it. But as of this minute, as you've seen, it's so fully completed. I did not need any uh, bobby pin at all to attach this to my head today. It was a little bit snug, to be fair. It's, I've just finished making it. It was a little bit snug, I must admit. But I mean, look at the back, guys. No bobby pin in there, only wig grip. But because the size of the cap I use matches my hair, my head perfectly, it, it was just like a perfect match make in heaven. Look at that magic weft doing all the work for me without me trying so hard. So just fluff everything up together brilliantly i couldn't be happy w. the king you know <laughs> Man in the empire yes sir switch uh, by the boss <laughs> uh, empire. Empire. oh yes ma'am i'm fluffing it all right loving this is absolutely awesome i mean i'm killing it don't care what anybody else says. <laughs> I absolutely love this. I mean, if you didn't know any me any better, you probably thought I'm trying to mimic my own hair. You try and tell me which is which. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> just awesome. As you can see, when I flick my hair around harshly, I don't know why any reason why we have to flick my hair that hard. You can see inside just around about a little bit. But I'm going to sort that out. So I added... Um, hairband to it this is for when my new growth become crazy i have this option to add hairband to it as you see on the other side i can have this in a bun on a very busy hectic day or for work which is my main <laughs> reason for this wig look at it in a bun slay in no glue no bobby pin just wig grip and the fact that this cap fits snugly. So I went in and add four space out weft to the inside of the cap. As I'm showing you guys on the other side, you can see that cap, that gap inside is no longer there. That's because I went back in and added four space out weft inside it. And um, that now take me to one bundle and a little bit. No one bundle and a half, just one bundle and a little bit. Don't come in the comment section, you know, watching my video through and come ask me how many bundle I use, I will kick right off. Got it? Got it. <laughs> I'm only joking. So, yes, I'm loving this, guys. I'm absolutely loving this. It's going nowhere. She is here to stay. Money makes the world go wider, put you where you wanna be. Me go with the high class, die with the president and fly him on the first class. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you guys on the next one. Get creating, all right? Talk to you soon. Thanks for Benjamin. For me, this is not funny. How to talk of Senna, call me. Do what you gotta do to make this money. Two, four, seven, three, six, six, five days. We hit the streets, set it for Mr. Ben. A fame, my book is not be what keep me read. On the day, look, leave you like a dairy land. Cause my money pile up. I got the money now that it back. Can't hold it's a boss be wife, Mr. Fresh Money. Yeah, R, yeah. R, C, W, money rule the world, money rule the world. Yeah.